Baker, you saw him in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies and most recently as one of the men plotting against Jennifer Coolidge in the second season of The White Lotus. His new series is Feud, Capote vs. the Swans. It starts January 31st on FX and streams the next day on Hulu. Please, everybody, welcome Tom Hollander. <laughs> This American, but just because you're from a similar place. But do you know each other? Yes. Okay, you do. Yeah. Okay, I was like a tool asking, but okay, it's a no, large no, it's island. A, yeah. No, it's actually we yeah, actually you do. Know do. Each other. We yeah. share mutual friends. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You seem. <laughs> you seem just so thick as thieves. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. Do you do you cook? I do, yeah, yeah. Oh, you do? You Do you love... Yes. What was the hesitancy? Do you suck at cooking? Or... Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, you I'm don't. I'm brilliant at it, but I love doing it. Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Oh, that's so good for yeah. you. I never used to, but then and then uh, kind of COVID happened, and then so we were all ah. at home, and then so that was the time. And I, I, Everybody do, I do the bread. cooking in, in, in our house, which yeah. I love doing. And Jamie is um, on my shelf. Yeah, uh, in... you should get the five ingredients. I've one. got the five ingredients. Okay, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I also tried to do the mayonnaise a few weeks ago. Yeah. Where you put it on the towel and you put it in an angle in the bowl. Okay. What? And I've done. I, I have to no do idea. It by... Oh, I love it! I love it! I love it! You Are put you it sure it was terrible. mayonnaise? Damn it! <laughs> this is like when people come and quote lines. It's like therapy, to... yeah. Quote, quote lines to me from things that I've done and I can't remember them. Yeah. They're all the same. That happens to me with songs, a... even yeah. if I wrote yeah. it. Yeah. You did a really good recipe for mayonnaise. Yeah. I okay. couldn't make it work. But You've it, had over it, 20 books, can't remember them all. Yeah. And the poached chicken, do you remember the poached yeah, yeah. chicken? Yeah, that, yeah, I love definitely. doing that. Do you, I have to ask, because for an actor, it must be fun to play a bad guy, because you were like a bad guy in White Lotus. Was that, is that super fun for you? Yeah, I mean, bad guys are fun, yeah. sure. Because you get to do the things that everyone thinks of doing, but nobody really yeah, can do. That you want to do. Yeah, but everyone yeah. goes, no, I mustn't do that, because I'll go to jail. But if you're playing, <laughs> if you're playing uh, one of those characters, you get to do it. Yeah. And the devil, the devil has the best tunes, as they say. Well, I want to, I want to talk about, and we love White Lotus, but I do <laughs> want to talk about Capote versus this one. So, okay. how, how did you get into this? Like, is what? this, was this a role you were very excited about playing? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I mean, I, I got into it because they, 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 you know, they, I auditioned and they asked me to do it. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> the, the uh, uh, and then I went yippee because it's he's such an amazing character. Yeah. Truman Capote, and he's also very strange and sounds uh, very unique and physically is very unique. So there's a lot yeah. of transformation to do. And I had to, are you gonna, are you gonna show a clip of it? Yeah. Yes, yes. Just because, yes. Do you well, want me to or no? <laughs> is it, is this like a tease? I don't, wanna, do I don't wanna build it up too much in case, okay, yeah, okay, in wait. case the audience goes, that looks Well, tell awful. everybody, before we yeah. do that, tell everybody a little about the series, if they okay, don't know so the series, It's yeah. Feud, it's the second season of Ryan Murphy's Feud. Mm -hmm. The, um, did you see the first one? The first one was, a, yes, so, uh, amazing. Um, Betty Davis and Joan Crawford. So this one is about Truman Capote falling out with the high society ladies that he was very, very close to and then upset a lot when he betrayed them all their secrets by writing a, a, a not very nice article in Esquire magazine. And they, they kind of canceled him and uh, kicked him out. And he, he needed them much more than he realized or and was sort of broken hearted and then spent the rest of his life um, going on chat shows, being drunk, going to Studio 54, not writing, and kind of a slow decline. Um, Once again, another fun character to play. That, well, <laughs> well um, f he is quite funny, that's yeah. the thing. He managed to make jokes all yeah. the time on the way down. Well, we have a clip. Here's <laughs> yeah. Tom Hollander in Feud, Capote versus the Swans. I know about you, I know about your car accident. Shattered your cheekbones. How when they rebuilt your face, you were suddenly more beautiful than ever. You became a swan from an ugly duckling, am I right? How do you know about all that? Well, my point is, the accident was a blessing. And now there's something else. You have a new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Of you, even your yeah. tone, like your voice, everything, like 
Was that everything on, um, did you have to like study that person just to really mimic yeah, that? Yeah, but you yes. sound completely different, yeah. Well, I, I watched him on TV a lot because he did all these these yeah. amazing on TV the way down. appearances <laughs> on the way down. Exactly, some of which were just painful to watch because he went on when he'd been up for two days. And, um, oh. And I had an amazing voice coach called Jerome Butler, who's a dear man and a bit of a genius. And you listen, you listen to it for ages, and then you sort of mimic, mimic like a parrot, and then you and then you have to get beyond the parrot phase and try and be a human being, which yeah. happens. And eventually, you're in it, and then it becomes in your muscles, and you remember it like you remember if you're learning to dance or something, and you learn a dance movie, you don't have to think about it anymore. It gets like that. But it's incredible. You are weeks. incredibly gifted. You're such a great actor. Thanks. I love anything you're in. I love watching. Hey, you're you. so Thank good. You. Thank you. Well, that's very kind of you. It's I'm just a, being honest. I wouldn't day, have said it's it. Not every day you get the, not every day you get asked to do one where you can transform like that. To that's the thing. No, to have the ability to be able to. Because often you're asked to play something that yeah. more or less resembles who, who you are when you walk into the room. So it's fun for fans. I wish people would let actors branch out, musicians branch out from their one genre that yes. they're used to seeing, because it's fun for us to yes, see like everybody wearing different hats. Yeah, and yeah. Being, it makes you feel more creative. Yeah. That's kind of, yeah, exactly. That's what you sign up for.